Geeky Friends. I'm Margaret. I'm Colleen. And, and we're, we're the Cousins, the cousins weird. weird. And no this, is, edition. Yay! And this is <laughs> Terrible Trend number 34? No, we're more than that. Uh, I think I it's got 30, to look. It's 34. I think you're wrong. <laughs> and I'm going to look it up. I feel like it's like 37. It might be. But I could be totally wrong. I could just be making things I'm just making things up. Who knows? Why can't I find it? 37. You are totally right. Oh, my brain's good every once in a while. Very rarely. I can't say words, but I can tell you what number of travel trends we're on. <laughs> you know, I should have remembered it. I wrote it on the, the notes. <laughs> the page notes. It's fine. Which once we get going, Yay, you should you should you should open those in the document so you can look at the pictures that I see. Oh. Great. Can't wait. Yeah. You're going to have an iPhone. Title ball. it or is it untitled? It's Terrible Trend 37. It's TT37. Okay. So today I'm talking about a uh, Roman god, an old one. And this god was named Fascinus or Fascinum, which the word that we use now that's from the same root of this word is fascinate. So keep that in mind as I'm talking okay. about this. Fascinate. <laughs> That's right. So the Romans of old were very religious and had more than two hundred. Oh my god! <laughs> I saw the pictures. pictures. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you see why I chose this guy? Yes. yes it's, it's something. It's an eyeful. It something. Oh, it's yeah. an eyeful. All right. You want to be definitely. following us on our platform to see these pictures? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> god. Anyway, they had over 200 gods in their pantheon. So there's a lot. They have a god for everything. You're like, I don't know if they were quite as bad as the ancient Egyptians. Right. With, you know, a crocodile god and a god for every animal and every plant and whatever. Um, but uh, one of the lesser known gods, at least this god was unknown to me up until I started to research this, this episode, was oh, called god. Fascinus or Fascinum, um, which means... To practice magic or to bewitch, which the, the okay. word fascinate is kind of in the same, like it means bewitched. like to bewitch, right, yeah. to bewitch somebody. The cult of Fascinus was tended by Vestal Virgins, which is very okay. ironic after Colleen has seen the pictures of Fascinus. <laughs> and, and Fascinum was the embodiment of the divine phallus. <laughs> yes, I said phallus. <laughs> It it is depicted as a winged penis with testicles that had an erect penis and a penis for a tail and a penis for legs. He was the god of regenerative masculine power. Oh, wow. yeah. Oh. Pliny the Elder, because you know. Oh, here we go. He called it. If this was uh the, this guy that was a remedy for the evil eye. So, like, if someone's trying to give you the evil eye, then you you would carry a, you'd wear a symbol of Fascinus as a necklace, as a pendant. And symbols to Fascinum would be placed in fields as protection from magic. So, um, phallic charms were worn as pendants and rings to protect <laughs> children <laughs> from the evil eye. So, like, most of the the pendants that they found would yeah. have been worn by children. Why? Yeah, can you imagine these days sending your little kid off to school with a penis necklace? They or call a penis CPS ring on you. They would. <laughs> We'd be like, why? Because your you child, have a child wearing, wearing a penis this? necklace <laughs> or a ring. That's my new ring. It looks like the God Fascinus. Yes, a winged penis. A winged penis. Oh, the wings come in. You'll, we'll, we'll know what those wings are for in a minute. And there were many motifs on walls depicting a phallus ejaculating towards a floating eye. And I shared a picture of this with you. One of the walls they found with this carving on the outside of a penis with legs. No. The legs are no. testicles. No. Shooting his blessings at this evil oh. eye as protection. Yes. Disgusting. <laughs> It was a first century figurine found. This is like a little figurine that they found. And it was dated to oh, the first. The I first. It. I see the picture. Oh my god! 
<laughs> it's so much fun. Oh my God. Don't listen to this with kids in the room because they're like, Mommy, what's a phallus? Yeah. <laughs> Do I get what, a penis ring? It's for protection. I'm going to protect myself with this. <laughs> I need protection from a penis. Yeah, you know, um, you know, dudes made all this up. Just oh, they uh, totally did. Oh, this will protect you. Uh huh. Yeah. Sure it will. Uh huh. Okay, there was a a first. There was a figurine found, dated back to the first century, and it was of two little penis men sawing an eyeball in half. <laughs> Man, two little um, penis men. And because this is a winged, erect penis, he was <laughs> he was also preyed upon for help conceiving. Like, well, of course, of course, fertility. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and sense. much, yeah, and much of the art found fascinus is depicted around sleeping maidens. Of course, mm, he is. Of course, he is. Yes. And, and there are many tales of maidens awakening to find that they had been blessed <gasps> by fascinus while they slept. What? Yeah, he raped them. Basically, yes. That's horrible. Yes, that no, was blessed, you, sir. He blessed. I don't want them. your blessing. <laughs> the most, the most famous tale is that of Ocretia, who would give birth to R Rome's sixth king, Servius Tallius. She was a prisoner of war, but she was a noble woman, and. Yeah made into a household slave in the home of the Roman king Tarquinius. She was a virgin, she claimed, she was a virgin, and while performing the rites to the Vestal Virgins, she was impregnated by a winged penis that flew between her legs and blessed her. This yes. is the tale. Yes. She was blessed by a winged penis. Yes. He grew up to marry the king's daughter, this blessing that she gave birth to. Yeah. And who was probably in actuality his sister, you. Yeah. Because they're like, was it Fascinus who impregnated her or was it the king who impregnated yeah. her? Because it sounds an awful lot like, oh crap, I'm unwed and I'm pregnant. Oh, it was the god Fascinus <laughs> did it. Yes, Fascinus. that was it. Between my legs and impregnated me. If only it was I that easy nowadays. One. Like nowadays, it's not as bad, but it's like right a little while later that you can't blame. Oh wait, the Christians do have that too. But they yeah, had, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's a, it's a theme amongst it's religion. It definitely is. Um, he he actually ended up becoming the king of Rome after he married the Roman king's daughter, and the worship of Fascinus and other Roman gods declined with the rise of Christianity. That's not a surprise. No. Yes. So that is my story of Fascinus, the winged penis god. <laughs> but this picture, that, like this one sculpture they found, it's like a huge erect penis mm -hmm. and the testi has testicle legs, but it also has an erect penis and its legs yeah. are penises and its tail yeah. is a penis as well. Yes, I see this. It's, it's horrifying. It's a lot. It's, it's a lot. And it's definitely... This one like pendant thing has like a hand on one side or something, and then a penis on the other, and boobs hanging off it or something. <laughs> I don't know. No, it's I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Those are some of the pendants they found. I think one of them was a ring, maybe. I don't remember. Oh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, a ring with a big erect winged penis on it. Great, just what I ever wanted. <laughs> I'm totally getting you one for your birthday. <laughs> oh boy. A ring to fascinus. <laughs> And I'll be protected. <laughs> but you know, from there's the so evil many. Eye. How, how have we not heard of this before? I don't know. How have we not? And how remember that whole paper you did on phallic symbols? I was probably didn't come up in that. I know. I'm amazed it didn't. Because I mean, it was basically that. <laughs> we had to. I, I, there was something like I had to. It was for the history of Western civilization at college, yeah. and I missed something something they watched in class and he said I go you have to watch some kind of valentine thing and I watched this 
history of phallic symbols or some shit. Yeah. I'm like, okay, this is Valentine's Day. It's about sex. Penises. <laughs> it's fine. You were so proud of yourself. When you I was. <laughs> you told me all about it. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what the teacher thought of it. He's like, oh, crap. It's a penis paper. <laughs> I, don't even, no. I, don't, I don't remember the grade I got. I think it was no. good. You probably got a good one. Hope so. Even though it's about penises, you can't score your raw for being doing a bad paper if it's good. Yeah. And you didn't want to read about it. Uh, most good men like, gracious. like to read about penises, don't they? Well, they like to read about their own. <laughs> they think that, I mean, I was just proving the, the stereotype that women love penises, which is yeah. an incorrect stereotype in my yeah. opinion. I don't think it's a good stereotype at all, but men wish it was. I just Maybe thought it was, if we could fun. figure out a way to procreate, probably would men would not exist anymore. If we could procreate with each other, if we could figure that out. I bet you know natural selection would happen and men would just go away. <laughs> I think so. I just have that feeling that that's how it would go. <laughs> if men had it their way, it'd be the Handmaid's Tale. Oh God, both of them. Not mine. My not husband. mine either. Thankfully, I don't think but... he would like that. But anyway, yeah, that's my yeah. tail. Make sure you're that's following fastest. us on Instagram and Facebook so you can see these beautiful phallic rings <laughs> and statues and pendants oh, and such. And that the, the you wall don't carving. Make. Yeah, that wall carving. <laughs> Who doesn't want a carving of a erect penis ejaculating onto an eye, like on their wall? It's horrifying. Yeah, <laughs> you definitely want that. So make sure you're following us on there, and then you can share episodes on there with your friends. <laughs> you think I, I hear this, you know they do. And they really, want I'm really looking forward to seeing Colleen's artwork that she designed <laughs> for this. It's like the best. Like the one, the Napoleon one. Yeah, one of my favorites. That was the best thing ever made. His little little testicle feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was cute though. He was. It was, it was cute. Yeah. It was a cute little. Uh, thing. And you're in, you know, the best part of this whole episode is that it's coming out on Thanksgiving Day. So happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Hopefully you're listening to this while you're doing dishes afterwards. Yes. And we got you a little giggle in when you're cleaning up because it takes all day to cook it and all night to clean up and 10 minutes to eat. So you should enjoy Not, yourself. Yeah, really. Um, and enjoy hopefully. My dad is not in the emergency room again this year <laughs> for uh, clumsiness. Oh, yeah, not. He's in right now because yes. <laughs> he's got like a swollen calf. But hopefully, like last year, it was a clumsiness issue. Yeah. So yeah. the thing is, is I I understand. Yes, because you have the same issues. I am so like my dad that, but I'm more cautious of things because I know I'm not going on that. I'll fall down and, <laughs> and crack my skull open. It anyway. And I'm like, yeah, he does like, oh, it's fine. Yeah, I, I've i grown to appreciate my clumsy yeah. ways. So I understand. I, I'm, not, that. I'm not graceful either, so I feel you. I just yes. uh, trip over my own feet often is what my problem is. Yeah. I'll end up probably head first in a snowbank somewhere because you know, I'll slip. <laughs> <laughs> End up in the snow bank. I think that's, your luck is just worse than mine, but eh, and I don't even know how that's, that's possible because I have pretty bad luck. Yeah. <laughs> so make sure you follow us. Uh, if they want to get a hold of us, what can they do? They can send us an email at the cousins weird at gmail.com or you can send us a direct message through Facebook or Instagram. And we'd love to hear any of your spooky stories, any funny tales you might have. Send them in. We'd love to hear them and read them on, on the podcast. So yeah, um, really cool. feel free to reach yeah. out. Let us know what you think. If you have any ideas for our um, upcoming, you know, Christmas month that's coming up, we like to do stuff that kind of revolves around, you know, whatever is going on. So if you have something cool to share that's like bizarre traditions or whatever, we want to hear from you about those too, because that'd be fun. Um, and if you want to support our podcast, always sharing your podcast with your friends is the best, 100% best way. And it's free. It's free to subscribe to our podcast on whatever platform you want to be in. So please do that. You'll never miss an episode. You also can uh, support us through patreon.com backslash the customs weird for a dollar a month to become a freaky friend. You get a free sticker and you get bonus episodes and for five dollars a month became a travel trender you get the same as a freaky friend but you also get ad free episodes 
a yearly gift and a monthly chat with us and other patrons, which is fun. Yes. This is the time. It'll be fun. And we have a Facebook group that where we can discuss episodes. If you had something you want to discuss further about things that we said in an episode or you knew something more, or you want to add to it, please. We would love, I thought maybe if we made a group, it'd make it easier for people to talk about it. So we're talking about doing that. That may be coming up in our future. So keep a lookout. Yes, that'll be fun. We'll have the, the podcast chat. Yeah, the podcast chat. The Cousins Weird chat. So uh, I think that's it. Is that that's it? it? I think so. Stay freaky. Bye.